Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, my name is Tina. Hello and welcome to our family. And if you have already been here, thank you so much for returning and all of your support. I appreciate you all. You all have been so supportive and I'm so thankful for you all. Today's look is going to be a fun, summery, colorful look. If you are interested on how I'm going to create this summery colorful look, please continue to watch. You guys, I've already filled in my brows. Now I am going to prep my eye lids for eyeshadow application. I'm using the MAC Paint Hot and Painterly and Soft Ochre. All of the products that I'm using today will be listed down below. It's kind of hard to talk and do the application at the same time, but we're going to work with it. Now, I always set my eyelids, even though the, this paint pot, it dries um, really matte and dry, I still like to just add a little bit more um, powder just to make sure that everything is is sealed in, and I'm using the Lori the <laughs> L'Oreal, the Laura Mercier translucent powder to set the lids. Now I'm going to go into my Morphe 39A palette, and I will be using this beautiful pink fuchsia color, and we just go. Pack that on the eye lid, and we're gonna blend it out. And I'm using the Morphe 4 M433 brush, and we're just gonna pack, pack that on in, right in that, in between the crease and the eyelid. And while I'm packing it on there, I'm also just softly Patting it on here. Make sure that all the product is being distributed on the eyelid before I begin to blend. Let's put just a little bit more. Okay. I'm satisfied with that, so now I'm just gonna blend the edges out. I'm gonna take it up just a little bit. Blend that on out. And now I'm just going to pack a little bit more of that color in the eyelid just to bring a little bit more pigmentation to the eyelid. I love this color. Isn't this kind of fun or what, you guys? Beautiful. Whew. Beautiful. Now I'm going to take my Morphe M441 and I'm just going to just blend those harsh edges out. I'm satisfied. Now we're going to move to liquid eyeliner and I am just going to um, just do like a simple line I'm using the Prime's Daily Moisturizer. I know this is my favorite moisturizer. Okay, 
so now I am using the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Just gonna make sure that this is melting in the skin. I was applied in my T zone. in the t-zone I just get my beauty my damp beauty blender and I just blend it in all right you guys I'm going to be using the Norris soft matte foundation in Malia this has really became one of my favorite. I love the coverage. Have to blend it out really fast because it's a matte foundation. So I take my beauty blender and I use the bottom part of it and just blend that foundation evenly. I always leave like a, a lot of um, open area to put my concealer. I don't like putting my foundation up there because it just seemed like it just be a little bit too much product. Alright, look like we have a good even coverage. Now I'm using my favorite Morphe concealers. We'll be using two. One to conceal and then one to highlight. I'm sorry you guys. I am applying it under the eye. Bridging my nose, upper my, the upper part of my lip, and also my chin. I'm just gonna blend that out. I'm gonna blend this out real fast because this concealer is matte and it dries real quick. So now I'm going to apply the next shade to highlight. I'm going to apply it in the same areas. Okay, while that's sitting just for a little bit, we're going to contour. And I am going to use Suede Mocha. Right in these areas. The perimeter of my face I use Suede Mocha. Now I'm going to use chocolate for my nose. Okay. So 
sometimes that's way well okay, it's a little bit too dark for my nose so we're gonna see how this chocolate shade do for us today now I'm going to blend out that contour we don't want that sitting on the skin too too long so I'm going to get my Real Techniques Face Expert brush and just blend that out starting with my jawline Pen. Always blend that contour into the hairline. Okay, so now we'll just take that beauty blender and just pounce in those areas, making sure right where that foundation is, making sure that the lines of demarcation are being removed, or actually blended in, seamless, on the skin. So now we are going to blend out that concealer. Put a little bit more of that highlighter color under the eyes. Just a little bit more coverage. All right, next we're going to be using Rare Beauty Cream Blush in Happy. And I'm really starting to love cream blush, you guys. And we just want to place it on the high points of your cheek. And we're going to blend it out because we want to lift the cheekbone. Now, since we have the blush on, I am going to add, um, blend out my nose contour. We're going to see how that looks. I'm taking the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Powder in Dorothy, and I'm just setting up that contour. Smooth Sephora Micro Smooth Mahogany Powder. Y'all know this is my favorite. And we just gonna dust off that bake. Okay. 
Så det är du med. Så det är alla olika färg. To bring the whole look together. Love this part. Mm. Look at this look. Look at this skin. Fresh and ready for summertime. Well, the ending of summertime. So now we are going to add a little hint of teal on the lower lash line. And I'm using, I believe this is L'Oreal. Let's see. This is um, Revlon Color Stay. We just go. Now we are going to remove the rest of that bake. I'm going to set that nose contour with the MAC Mineralized Dark Deep. I'll set that. Love, love, loving it. Now we're going to add some more blush. Using a BH Cosmetic blush palette. I'm going to be using I think it's this color here. I think I've been using. Yeah, like a little fuchsia. It's going to bring a little bit more of that blush color back. I love this look. Now, since I have the contour, nose contour in place, we're going to add a little of this MAC Studio Fix in C6 just to bring a little filter and set that translucent color as well. so far yes loving it now I am going to highlight her summer spray spray the face kind of press the powders in Now we are going to highlight, I'm going to take my little 
paintbrush I got from uh, picked up from my local Michaels and I'll be using the bronze color just a little on the tip of my nose and the bridge This bow can. Mm. Love this look. Now I'm going to add my um, lashes. And I'm using my favorite number four I Envy from my local beauty supply store. It's dry, I just want to blend that highlight. I'm going to be using the KKW number no. 3. I'm using the new 2 lipstick. Take cream brulee, NYX, and just go over that. Just a break a little glossy look to it. A little bit more highlight to that inner that inner corner of my eyes. I'm popping that highlight color in summer in my inner corner of my eye. Spray one more time. All right, you guys. This is the finished look. I'm in love, love, love with this fun, colorful summertime, end of the summertime look. I love how this came out. Let me know down in the comments if you want to recreate this look or what you think about this look. I thank you all so much for your support, for stopping by and watching. I hope and pray that you watched all the way to the end. If you haven't subscribed, don't forget to hit that subscription button and hit your notification bell where you'll be notified with my next upload. I thank you all again. I appreciate all your support and all the products, like I said, are going to be listed down in the description box. I will see you again in my next tutorial coming soon. God bless and have an amazing day.